Oh my gosh. I feel not happy. I gotta turn off the air conditioner. It's gonna be the perfect setting for me to barf. Oh. I am not looking forward to this one at all. Wow. This video is sponsored in part by Alex Hittipole. <laughs> Do we have some Redmond? I'm very nervous. Isn't this an insult to Redmond? Mm. No, Redmond, I feel like, needs to know that they're also a life preserver. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It's time to reword our entire opening, because number one, we don't do keto on the couch on the couch anymore. And second, somewhere we have to insert in there, and sometimes we do really stupid things, like start a series called Keto Fear Factor. I want to say our thing all over again because I just want this to stretch out and like keep me further and further away from this. Okay, so this is Keto Camping Fear Factor episode five. We are at Korshan. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Korshan State Park in uh, Fort Myers area of Florida. And we've got a good one. We, we've actually got a cabinet full of stuff. That's tasty. And, well, we've got a cabinet full of stuff that's tasty, like keto bricks. And we've got some, like, pork rinds. And we've got a refrigerator full of ground beef. But, no, we're going to do keto camping fear factor. But we also have several things that we can eat for keto camping fear factor. But we're only going to do three. We're, we're going to change this to just three because that's all my stomach can take. Oh my gosh. And some of these are... So we have enough room for the next one as well. And Anthony just called us to say that somebody... I don't know who it is because I haven't seen the envelope. But somebody sent us aged... No, that no, wasn't like aged. Like the 100 year old 100 eggs. 100 year old duck eggs. And he was like, Dad... I can smell it before opening the envelope. Something is not good inside of this mail. <laughs> the good thing is, is, he said we also got a package from Oh Hello Bakery. So at least we have something good to wash it down with. But we don't have anything to wash this down. So here's what we got. Now today's is kind of out there. So we can't do this in one sitting. We're going to have to do this in, in at least two sit downs. Because one of them, I can't eat anything else with it. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we got. We've got... Two of these are courtesy of Alex Hittipole. Thank you very much. Christopher's brother. For sending this. So we've got... Sort of thank you. Armor Vienna Sausage. We've done Vienna Sausage, but this is Jalapeno. So I'm wondering if the flavors will help it at all. Yep. Then we've got... We went to Bass Pro Shops. I needed to get something for the camper. There's we needed an like awesome one here in Fort Myers. Yeah, we needed something, and then we saw Bass Pro Shops. We stopped there, so we figured, hey, this looks really good. Pickled, Pickled quail, quail eggs. eggs. Honestly, what I want is the carrots and the hot pepper, but at least the juice isn't red. Yes. So we got that. Uh, I just want to get this over with big john's trotters <laughs> pig's feet cooked cured bone in ready to eat oh my gosh ingredients in this i'm, I'm actually glad i don't have my glasses so you don't want to look at this cooked cured pig's, pig's feet, feet water, water salt 
sodium erythromate, sodium nitrate. I mean... And it's packaged just 10 minutes away from our house. Thank so you if, so much, Big John. So if you love these, you're going to have easy access to them. Okay. Where are we starting? I, I kind of want to get this on. disclosure. He sent us two, and we cannot eat our own. I, we have to share it. There's, well, I just don't think we're going to I do want to say the second one, th this is vacuum sealed. I know that you were worried it was leaking. I think that the leaking was from the, the other, other one, one. Because this one, that was three days ago. The other one had lost its vacuum seal, so we, we didn't trust eating it. I still didn't think that I could eat one by myself, though. So this one is still vacuum sealed, so it's not leaking. So this one is good. This one is good. For the record, this is good until, um, yeah... 2021. I'm not pushing the sell-by date on that. Is this where we're going? Ugh. I, is it a recommended sell-by date or is it a, can, can they change that date? Oh, it just doesn't. It just doesn't look like is this where we're anything starting? natural. Wait, let's get the plate underneath it because I just feel like it's going to goo. I just want to get this over with. What does it smell like? It smells like vinegar. It smells like vinegar, but like dusty feet oh, oh my, gosh. my gosh now it's starting to smell like the science project from biology class when uh, you were yes if yes like the frog when you had to dissect something are they using formaldehyde on this oh my gosh it feels like it Ooh. hi <laughs> hi there we go yum yeah it smells like it, it smells it's like the frog you dissect oh or the gosh. we did sharks did you do sharks we did Pigs. We did pregnant Fetal nurse pigs. sharks. Oh, it kind of looked okay. that color too. Where are we going? Are we gonna? Are we just gonna take a bite? Yep. Or are we gonna cut a piece off? Cut? I no. Oh, cut a piece off. I I'm sorry. I'm not just like putting this. I, up I to can't my... cut it. It's all bone. <laughs> Ooh. It's you all need bone. Need to cut it that it's way. It's all bone. Ooh. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh man. Oh. Uh. Is this when you tell me that, oh, this stuff's good for your hair? There you go. Oh. Uh, there you you're go. very generous. Uh, I love you. I just want to make sure that you have enough to eat. Ew. Oh, gosh. Just just gnaw in. Flat back the skin. All right, here we go. Wait, dink it. <laughs> really want to dink this. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, getting sick to my stomach. Oh, gosh. It's just the, the consistency. I just know. It, it's like... Uh, Ew. Dink. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I can't. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, we have got to try. I mean, Alex sent us this stuff. We've got to try. You're going back in? Is there like, it's all skin. It's it feels all... like there's just a lot of skin. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. I can't. No. Uh. Oh, no. Nope. This is where we die. This is where we die instead of eating this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh. I, I am drinking a vanilla Kai 2 Super Espresso. Oh, no. Mmm. Ugh. Worst yet. That is that is bad. Wow. I would eat the potted meat before I would eat this. Again, for me, some of it is a consistency thing. Oh, man. I... I don't like anything chewy. Oh, oh. I mean, I don't like chewy chicken skin. Oh, and it's like... We get, like, when you... This oh. is, like, the wings. When you get those those chicken wings that are in the freezer, and they say, like, just heat them up in the microwave, and they're, like, chew... That's the consistency oh. of this. And then add in the smell of the vinegar, and my hands are sticky. Like, why are my hands sticky? Oh, I'm going to need another day. I want to do something you else. You want to do something else right now? I, I feel just, like I need another day. Let's come back. We'll do a second one in tomorrow. But okay. the, we've, I want this thing buried. <laughs> like, we need to bury it. Like, it can't go even stay. Go find the garbage can. Ugh. What's going on, Mr. Steak? I wish we were eating steak right now. I've never had a quail egg. Have you had a quail egg? I've never had a regular quail egg because it's never seems like a value. They're so tiny. I'm like, how? I need the whole dozen. Right? I guess you're supposed to, you know, dress them fancy or something. Okay, so it's day two. We're at Corshawn State Park. We're about to eat Fear Factor number two. So the ingredients in this are 
Quail eggs. I hope so. Vinegar, water, jalapeno pepper, salt, onions, and carrots. So probably the cleanest ingredients we've ever seen in one of these Fear Factor things. They're made in Fort Worth, Texas. So... This is from the Cherith Valley Gardens. Which, didn't we get some of their mustard? Yes, we did. It was their really awesome. mustard was stinking awesome. Are you ready? Um, oh, do you want the nutrition facts on this, or does oh, it not matter? Well, I think we A should A serving size look is two, two ounces. Servings per container is eight. So, oh, more than one egg. Oh. A 90 calories per serving, 3.5 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein. Does uh, that say 10? 10 total carbohydrates. That's... 5 grams of fiber. That's got to be There's jalapeno peppers. There's onions in the bottom. That while you're eating it, you're going to be eating a smatter. I would honestly not count, care about any of those carbohydrates. Because they're God ones. Onions, carrots. How does it smell? Not bad. I gotta check. Ooh! It smells like a deviled egg is already going on in there. Doesn't it? Maybe it's because of the onions and stuff. These are the tiniest little things. They do feel like a squishy Happy Fun Ball. Wait a second, I want a carrot. It is like a ball. There's only one carrot in the whole jar. It is just like a ball out of one of those like 50 cent machines that you would get like the bouncy ball. Yeah. Ooh. Should we break it in half? I don't know. What does the inside look yeah, like? Yeah, check and see. Oh, ooh, it's like a little runny devil That is egg. a lot of yolk for a little tiny. Yeah. Here we go. That's actually really good. Wow. There's some spice to it. It's a vinegar. That is good. Wow. It's such a weird texture for an egg, though, because you're used to that squish, and the outside is super hard. Wow. What is super different about that mm. than the pickled regular chicken egg was, it almost is, It's not red. Well, that, and it's almost mashed in the middle yeah. instead of it being, like, a hard center. That is amazing. I'm going to go in for another one. That is really good. too. That is we really good. We didn't dink it. Dink. Dink. Oh, when oh, yeah. you bite it, it's like the inside yolk goes... <laughs> it's like you've already got a deviled egg going on. That is good. That is good, but it's spicy. This brand, at least. I don't know. I guess it is a little spicy. In a good way. Because inside... There's a giant jalapeno pepper. Yeah. Okay, wait a second. Bonus. Okay. Bonus fear factor, because we said only three. You gotta take a bite. All right, Who's I'm going in. first? You go first. I'm going to see if he... I don't want you to drip on you. I'm trying to see if he has a reaction. It's actually, it's actually not nearly as powerful as I thought it was going to be. I feel like there's more spice in the egg itself than that. Yeah, I'm going to put that back in there. Is that okay with you? Like, I know we ate it, but we're going to eat the whole We're going to eat the whole jar. I mean, for, for this much money, we're definitely eating the whole I jar. I feel like I got gypped, though. I was looking at all the different jars. I'm like, I want carrots, but I want eggs. And some of them had a lot of carrots. This one's got two. I like the carrots. It's the keto jar. That is good. Doesn't everybody like gardenia? Mm-hmm. I love that kind of stuff. Like the pickled cabbage. The pickled, Do you like that? Yeah, let us know down below. Like, you know, the pickled cauliflower and the carrots and all that stuff. It's got a good vinegar taste. Very expensive, yeah. usually. Like $4 for a little tiny jar in a store. Highly recommend if you ever go to Bass Pro Shops and you just want something different. These are really good. I would eat these outside of a zombie apocalypse. I would absolutely. Like, well, we're going to. Ooh, look at all the onion on the bottom. Wow. I'll have to eat that onion, too. Fry the onion up with our burgers. Ooh, yeah. Be vinegary and delicious. When are we doing the third one? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, or maybe we should probably do it later on tonight, because we're going to probably leave early tomorrow. Tomorrow. Putting it off. Maybe maybe before dinner. Like, no dinner unless we eat some more Vienna sausages. We're coming back from a creepy, uninhabited Victorian settlement, and I feel like we're about to eat something even scarier than that. Air conditioner turned off just in time. I'm going to give you a choice. I know we said we were going to do the jalapeno Vienna sausages. All right. But Alex did send us, he actually sent us four. He sent us the jalapeno. He sent us the barbecue. He sent us original. 
and he sent us hot and spicy. Ooh. So, I know we said jalapeno, but I'm going to give you your choice. Well, I know I don't want to do original because been there, done that. And I left the barbecue at home by accident. I'm going hot and spicy because I like the red, orange, hot sauce, type of hot sauce. And I'm hoping that it's going to do its job and cover up what I have to eat. Maybe we should look at ingredients first or no. I guess we Just don't want to know the ingredients. Just go in. So hot and spicy. I feel like jalapeno was the better bet here. Why don't we just do both? No, I can't do both. I can't do both. We already did something extra. Well, but we did eat a jalapeno on the last one. Well, let's wait and see. Maybe you totally love this and it inspires you to eat the other one. I doubt it. Probably not, but... Gotta love oh the can. Oh my gosh, I don't even have a drink. Ooh, it's nice and red-orange. Let me smell. It's actually not that bad. It kind of... The red-orange sauce. Okay, so... How do I explain this? The goo is orange. It reminds me of eating ravioli in a can. Yeah, because it's got that, like, this is not natural Chef Boyardee colored sauce. I'll give you one better. One of my favorite things camping as a kid... Spaghettios? No, well, we yeah, we eat spaghettios. It kind of looks like spaghettios, only it's sausages. I'm thinking, we used to eat the pork and beans in a can in the red sauce. It's very and odd. And it kind of smells like that. Very but odd that you, no matter what you're eating, it's all the same colored sauce. But you would open up that can, and you'd get the big lumps of lard. Why is there like a seam? I don't know. It's like a seam. But you know how it. like in in those cans of pork and bean, you'd get the big lumps of like lard and fat which as a kid you didn't now you want that stuff but I back then kid. that was like all on the top that's kind of like what that looks like doesn't it like those lumps of lard that are on the top it, it doesn't look right i'll say that it doesn't look right does it have enough sauce on it because i really want mine sauced really sauced up oh i squeezed it too hard oh, which is basically just boop, barely touching it ready you have more sauce i was trying to get more sauce Okay. Dink. This sauce helps. It does help. This sauce helps. Those are edible. Those are edible. Thank you. Those are edible. We definitely have something else that we can eat in a zombie apocalypse because the plane I cannot scarf down. Now I want to try this. Next trip. Next trip? Next trip because... I don't know. We're running out of things. You guys got to You got to let us know some things we can eat. I mean, this is the second round. We're, that's going to be the third round of Vienna sausages. There's got to be wow. other things out there. I know like I said, Anthony said somebody sent us like preserved duck eggs. Like I'm not looking forward to that one. And I, I haven't even seen it. We need to save the jalapenos just so that we have something good to eat probably. Nothing. I'm sorry. Who it's hit me right here. I'm sorry, Alex, but nothing. I don't think there's no matter what we eat. I could eat live cockroaches. I don't think anything is going to be as bad as that pickled pig's foot. I am so sorry for spitting it out, but it was just it was just not edible. <laughs> well, that's going to be this episode of Keto Camping Fear Factor. And like I said, make sure you guys are letting us know down in the comment section some other things that you think we should try. All it's going to do is be shelf stable. Yeah. And I don't even mind occasionally. Let's expand this a little bit. So some things that they don't have to be necessarily shelf stable. What? Well, let's let's do some fear factor things that maybe we have to buy it refrigerated. Maybe we have to heat it up a little bit because we're running out. Unless you just want to keep eating like oysters and things like that. There's only so many canned things that we can go with. I feel like we just keep going until we can't go anymore. Okay. This just tastes like a lips and buttholes hot dog. Yeah, I think so. So, so again. Let us know some of the different things. And also, if you want to send us anything to try on Keto Camping Fear Factor, there's an address down below. Now, if it's something that is, like, really out there that, like, needs to be refrigerated... Give us a heads up it's coming. Give us a heads up that it's coming, and we need to know exactly when it's coming, because we don't always get to the post office box right away, so... We've had people send us something and it sat there for three days because we were out of town and now it's no good anymore. Ooh. So if it's coming like on like ice pack or something like that, we need to know so that as soon as it gets there, either us or Anthony can go pick it up. So yeah. now if you like seeing videos like this, check out our entire playlist of camping Fear Factory videos, which you're going to find right over there. 
Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we eat some lips and buttholes, you'll be alerted to it. I challenge you to eat that whole thing. Bye. Bye.